I forgot to press the record button. I'm so sorry. So restarting again. You draw your horizontal line right. And as we're told in the diagram, our point E to F was 13 centimeters. E to D was 13 centimeters. So this is my D. Sorry. Mark out my D. Then mark out my zero, which is he. Then mark out my point 6.5, which is always the center of it all. This is my E, this is my O, and this is my D. So we're told that from E to F1 was 2.5, which is the wall to the to the to where the mouth stops, which is our F1. We're never told F2, but always remember that F1, the measurement of F1 to his vertex is always the same thing as F2 to his vertex. So we are going to be rejecting 2.1 uh, 2.5 as well from D inward, which is going to be our F2 for the ellipse. Then um, don't forget for our C, we told C was 4.5. So let's mark out our point C, 4.5. This is C for the fin, where the fin will be projecting upwards. What you do is you pick up your ruler, measure out some points. So for me, I measured 0.5 first, then one centimeter next, so, which is my 1.5, then 1.5 next, which is three. So what I did now is, from here to my one is 0 0.5. If you come to my one to two is one centimeter, then my two to three is 1.5. So this is my one, two, three. For my ellipse, 0 0.5. F1 to one is 0 0.5. One to two is one centimeter. Two to three is 1.5. Pick up your compass as always. Input into one, stretch to E. That's E1, right? Put in my F. Then cut forward. Sorry, the body slippery. Then cut backwards. That same we just don't adjust it. Go to your F. Go to your F. Cut and cut. Now from D, extend your compass to one. Right. Then insert into F two. Cut here, cut here, then come to F1, cut here, cut here. So we'll be repeating this process. What I just did now is I inserted my compass into one, stretch to one E, which is E1. So inserted into F1, cut up, cut down, came to my that same radius E1, put in my F2, cut up, cut down, and, and took the second radius D to one, which is D1. Inserted my F2, cut here, cut here, inserted my F1, cut here. So we are repeating the same process, which is going to be our 2 to E, right? 2 to E, which is E2, cut up, cut down. That's in radius, bring to F2, cut up, cut down. Then now I take my D to 2, D to 2, put in my F2, cut here, cut here. Then come to my F1, cut here, cut here. Then I come to my D to F3, put in my F2, cut up, cut down. That's the same as my F1, cut up, cut down. Then I come picking from my 3 to E, E3, put in my F1, my last. And not the okay. This one does not intersect, so that's why you have to draw yours. Really, so I have to repeat G3 for that for that part. So now we both know that this hack that cut it was originally for my hack two. So I'm coming now. Let me use my compass. So now this is the vertex, this is the wall. This was where this point was going to for this point, and this one obviously would have cut here. You should always draw yours longer though. So this one they intersected here, this one 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 here, this here, here, and here. That's what we'll be doing. And at the same time, remember you have to draw your ellipse though, but just to remind us we are projecting our F2 upwards projecting our c upwards also from the top of our ellipse so right into ellipse to pass 
so wherever this b um, f1 line is touching the ellipse is going to be our b and this is going to be our c wherever the tangent of the ellipse b project so let's pick up our french curve and let's sketch it all out As like I said, we are joining everything together, so as you can see, I'm almost done. Please make sure yours goes well, though, because, yeah, so that's, that's my ellipse. Make sure yours go through the points very well, as you all know, I'm not submitting this to a lecturer, so that's why I am permitted to do whatever I want. Then, after you're done with this, we're told that, um... Wherever the tangents, wherever the tangents from the high, okay, 2.5, wherever you, you project your F1 upwards, then that will be for the high I'm coming. But for the tangents now, we are taking from the wall, from the wall of our diagram, from the wall that's the tangents of our ellipse, wherever it goes through. Okay, so for our fin, we take the tangent wherever it cuts through our C. Okay, so I'm done now. Now we are projecting our F1 up. Remember F1 because this is where the high will pass through. So where this F1 is touching here, you put your ruler projected towards the fin that we projected here. 45, 45 centimeter from a uh, 4.5 centimeter from from D 4.5 which is our C. So you project from where this F1 intersect on your ellipse, drag it backwards. So you can see this was my 4.5 from D. So project upwards. I'm done with the fin. So that's done. Now we are going to draw a parabola using rectangle method. So we're told that from year to year of a parabola, this is our vertex point. Year to year of a parabola is um um. 50 then the height is 60 so i'll take my set square and t square project because now i want to draw a rectangle project sorry i want to make sure i can mark out 30 30 project then project you feel me then um pick your ruler now I'll put point 30 in the center you have to put 30 in the center here yeah 30 is in the center right so I mark out my point zero. I mark out my point six. That's zero to six is thirty, but the center is three. Uh, zero to six. Then the center is three. So I come here to my six with my t square project. Always make sure your t square is resting on your on the edge of your board. Then for my point zero, I project. So that's my sixty centimeter fifty. So now I want to divide into whatever size. So Instead of using calculation and all, just pick up your t square at this junction point zero, project this way. At this junction, I'm coming, sorry. Okay, I want to project like this for this point zero. I'm projecting this way. Then go this way again from this point zero. So now you might be wondering what's the use of this line I'm drawing this to be able to divide my line, division of line that we learned very, very like first period of time. So this is my, this place where I'm starting my compass is zero, right? So extend your compass to any given length of a table. Don't have just a power. So we call it one, where it intersects inside, two, where it intersects inside, three, where it intersects, then for so for this one now whatever you use in dividing this first line must be the same here because you know they are same small but you need to go much more tiny because you know it's a small line put in your point zero here again yeah cut one don't adjust your compass two three four come to this point zero without the same radius one Two, three, four. Yeah, that's right. So remember, 
the, for the eye of our fish at this point 60 right sorry where's my point 60 and my point 60 yes wherever it is cutting my line f1 i projected on set so this is the radius of my for my fish eye let me just do that real quick the radius we were given the diameter which was one then half diameter is 0.5 yeah measure 0.5 on the ruler and insert at that point where the entire those line f1 and line coming from q oh was that q intersect each other then draw out your fish high yeah so that's one so for this line that we did cuts we need to for me i need to remove this to feel convenient so you pick your ruler and your set square so for the first point, this very last one, put your pencil there, then check if it is joining with this place. Mine has joined right, so I'll put my ruler. I need to put my ruler behind my set, my T square, sorry. My set square, sorry. Put my ruler behind my set square, draw that first line, right? Don't move the ruler, just move this backwards. Draw my second line, right? Draw my third line where it's cutting that and draw my fourth line. Yeah. And you are doing the same thing for this area too. Pick the last one. Pick the last one. This is how these two would intersect each other, right? Let me see. Yeah, they intersect each other this way. So I put my ruler underneath here. Don't move the ruler, push this forward. Push this forward. Now, whenever you are moving your hand, make sure you are holding your set square down. Hold your ruler now, slide. You need to learn to do it on your own. For example, so slide again. Then cut. So for this one again now, I need to pick from my, this point to this point. This point to this point. Is it drying? Yes. Hold this down. Now slide your ruler behind. Then slide backwards. Wherever it intersects here, put your ruler again. Wherever it intersects here, put your ruler again. Wherever it intersects here. So, we are good. Now, come back to your T square. Your T square. Now, you need to project this line. Okay, this is where this one cuts. I cut here, cut here. You can draw a full line if you want to. I cut here, cut here. So this is me dividing my line into four pieces. Cut here, cut here. Right? Then I come to this other one, my T square. This point, all of these points now I'm projecting it upwards. So my first point here, sorry, I'm not seeing that clearly. Project so I'm going to draw from upwards this point connect it to the wall so i'm projecting project where it's caught upwards this one projected already come to this project upward come to this project upward all of this i'm drawing is construction line please don't forget that so you pick your ruler now you want to make a v-shape from this wall right from this very point, you want to project to this center. Point to center. From this point to the center. From this point to the center. From this point to the center. You do the same thing for both sides. From this point to the center. From this point to the center. From this point to the center. From this point. To the this point okay now let's label this in my one two and three right so where this one and this one enters this is my one this is let's just call this zero let's call this zero one two three so one one two three then let's call this zero so where this one this line one intersects with this one this year for this one now we are zero lines on zero in this junction so for my two now where is this is two where two and two meets is here 
this is my three by three and three minutes is here so my uh, parabola is going somewhere around this corner why so as always then three excuse me please so zero zero yeah so this is my one where one and one intersect this is one one intersect here two two intersect here three three intersect here so real quick i'm using my french curve i don't want to waste time so you could get this you see my hand is very straight but then straight on french curve but then that this okay my wife is so dirty that we can't even see so we are closing these joints obviously this is the tail so you project this project this project this so that's my fish tail okay it is good on camera though. so what else okay yeah we're told that this point was 25 degree so you can either use your compass or use your eye just place the center of your protector let it just say with the four cardinal points as the line here line here up up and down the way is 25 this is 26 half of my 25 and 30 here this one 25 degree and project this to that point with your compass and with your pencil oh, and here this point so that you don't need to draw too much now just cut the mouth cut it so let me erase this mouth now so that's my fish let me take in this so anybody can see it very well so i didn't really use construction i got i needed you people to see it well at the convenient spots this is my fish my high pin thank you very much for watching and um make sure subscribe